My burning question is from 1 Kings, uh, I think it starts in uh, chapter 9, verse 10. And it's, wait a minute, yeah, verse 10. It's where Solomon, King Solomon, and Hiram, who was the king of Tyre, uh, they exchanged gifts. And I guess uh, Hiram had provided with the cedars and the skilled workmen, and they had worked together, and he had been a good friend of King Solomon's dad. And then I think it says that at the end of a, a long period of time, like maybe 20 years, Hiram the king of Tyre had supplied Solomon with cedar and cypress and gold as much as he desired, that King Solomon then gave Hiram 20 cities in the land of Galilee. Then Hiram went from Tyre to see the cities which Solomon had given him, but they did not please him. So he said, what kind of cities are these which you have given me, my brother? And he called them the land of Kabul, as they are to this day, which my Bible has a note and says, Kabul, which is with a C, not a K, is like saying good for nothing. And then the next verse, then Hiram sent the king 120 talents of gold. So evidently Hiram was displeased with this land. I know you've been there a lot. So why was it good for nothing and if solomon was probably the richest guy that ever lived did he uh stiff hire i mean did he cheat him or was it the slight intended or just perceived but then right after that the, it sounds like whatever got smoothed over because they were still exchanging <laughs> talents i think Hiram probably needed wheat and oil from israel and, uh, but he, he had sent um, all the good stuff to build, I believe it was the temple, the palace, and a queen house. Dory, that is a great question. Um, it's been bugging me for a while. <laughs> okay, oh. well, let's, let's uh, I hope you'll get unbugged tonight. Uh, what's very fascinating is the difference between the children of Israel and all the other nations. The Israelites did not like the coast. They didn't settle on the coast. They settled in the mountains. And uh, so there is uh, Hiram, king of Tyre, uh, is, is up in the area we call Phoenicia. Seafaring people on the coast, on the water, on the ocean. The cedars of Lebanon grew up the sides of these mountains. It kind of looked like if you've ever been on US 1 in uh, California, you know, going up Big Sur and all that. That's what Hiram was used to. He was used to the, the constant uh, ocean. I mean, they floated the trees down to Joppa and all of that. So Hiram and Tyre uh, think, you know, ocean coast, uh, think, you know, Big Sur, California, New England, like that. Solomon gave him some cities around a lake. Now, Bonnie and I have lived both in California and in New England. And I don't know how to break this news to you. Uh, <laughs> but even the Great Lakes, I mean, there's, you can't see the other side, and they do have waves, but it is not the ocean. Uh, and so the, what he was saying is, this, this man that, that totally, they were into boats and the Phoenicians and, and all of their sailing, when Solomon gave him 20 cities around the lake, it wasn't the same. And that's why he said, what did you give me? And, and I think it's just preferences. I, I mean, Dory, what I would say is that, that just like the Jews, today, most of the Jewish people in Israel live on the coast. I mean, they're just on that coast. They love it. And of course, there's 600,000 of them in Jerusalem, but the rest just love the coast of Israel. So the geography is, this was a, an ocean guy. This was an inland uh, mountainous, you know, not by the water kind of guy. And when the, the water guy gets the cities that the inland guy liked, he didn't like them. Solomon didn't like the coast. He didn't build any of his structures anywhere near the water. They just, the Israelites were like that. And so basically what you're seeing here is, you know, Phoenician Jew, farmer, sailor, wants to be right next to the ocean, 
doesn't really like the ocean because it's hard to grow your crops right up by the water in the swamps in March. But what Solomon gave was the closest thing. If you look at Galilee, Galilee, most of it that's at least around the Sea of Galilee, is some of the flatter parts of Israel. Uh, the plain of Jezreel and all that is all in Galilee. So Solomon was trying to give him the best land that he had, the cities by it, but Hiram here didn't like him. So, so Dory, wherever you went back there, I would say it's just preference. And, and as you see in that last verse you're talking about, 120 talents of gold, one talent of gold is between 60 and 100 pounds. 60 pounds of gold uh, is 1,000 ounces. An ounce is, what? what's it up to, $1,200 these days? He's, he gave them, uh, you know, $100 million. I mean, so they're good friends. I, I'd say, uh, you know, 120 talents of gold. Uh, it wasn't stiffing. I mean, uh, Hiram was very gracious for all the food Solomon sent. Solomon gave him the best of the cities he could offer. Hiram didn't like him. So can you sleep tonight with that? And I would say that that's something to notice, that the Philistines also love the coast. If you look at the five cities of the, of the Philistines, they're right by the, the coastal land, and they had those, those chariots that would go zipping up and down the flatlands. The Israelites lived up in the mountains where you couldn't get the chariots, and, and they liked it up there. And, and God kind of protected, that's part of their isolation, that, that they stayed up there and they were not whizzing along uh, the, the coastal route. And it wasn't until Solomon who went down and conquered the coast. Uh, actually, Solomon enlarged down to take over the Via Maris and put tax booths up. But I think it was part of the Lord's protection.